The nanobot kill switch theory. Silent activation, remote shutdown. The ultimate control inside the human body. What if the future of warfare, surveillance, or even healthcare didn't require a single visible weapon? No chip, no gun, no explosives. Just a tiny machine already inside you waiting to be turned on. That's the foundation of the nanobot kill switch theory. The controversial idea that embedded nanotech can be remotely activated or deactivated. Not just for healing, monitoring, or diagnostics, but for termination. Sound insane? It's already been proposed by DARPA. Whistleblowers claim prototypes exist, and traces of the tech may have already entered human populations through medical procedures, vaccines, and consumer exposure. First, the nanobots are real. Nanobots aren't science fiction anymore. While we don't have full-scale robot swarms yet, several types of microscopic machines are in active development or limited use. Magnetically guided nanomotors for targeted drug delivery. DNA-based nanobots used for detecting cancer markers. Microchip-loaded bioparticles capable of basic if-then programming. Most are designed to function passively, responding to chemical or environmental triggers. But what if someone could flip a switch? Remote activation, not so far-fetched. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has long been exploring neuromodulation via electromagnetic stimulation. They've also funded research into RFID-sized tracking systems and nanoscale neural interfaces. In 2017, their Neural Engineering System Design Program proposed injectable implants capable of receiving wireless signals to stimulate nerves and control responses. And in 2021, researchers at Rice University successfully developed magnetoelectric nanoparticles, tiny machines that could be wirelessly triggered using magnetic fields to affect brain activity. That's not theory. That's already in the lab. Whistleblower claims. Multiple insiders and former defense contractors have made claims. Some vague, others more direct. One anonymous bioengineer claimed to have worked on compliance mechanisms that could cause pain or unconsciousness if subjects disobeyed. A former private military medic reported seeing non-responsive collapse incidents in test subjects with embedded devices shortly after an EM pulse trial. I classified DARPA project names like Silent Operator and T-Protocol are alleged to involve kill switch technology, but have never been confirmed. Are these claims exaggerated? Possibly. But they match the framework laid out by open research. The function of a kill switch, let's not sugarcoat this. If a microscopic machine inside your body could be activated to alter behavior, be shut down to disable motor function, or be destroyed remotely to collapse your system, then a kill switch becomes the ultimate silent weapon, invisible, untraceable, and deniable. How would it work? The theory breaks down into three steps. One, deployment via injection, inhalation, or contamination. Two, integration. Nanobots settle into tissue, waiting passively. Three, activation, an external signal, RF, EMF, ultrasound, or biochemical marker, triggers their behavior. Some models involve circuit dissolution. The nanobot carries a harmful chemical that's released only upon command. Others involve self-assembly, meaning the bots combine into an active form only under the right stimulus. Who could use it? Governments, for tracking or covert termination. Military, for field compliance or fail-safe deactivation. Corporations, for smart contracts tied to health behavior or insurance. Or, worst of all, bad actors who hijack the signal. What starts as safety quickly becomes surveillance. What begins as compliance ends in control. What we know so far. The technology exists to make this possible. Research shows external signal activation works. Whistleblowers have described use cases, some disturbing. And nobody is offering full transparency, are we already exposed? Some researchers believe early versions of passive bots have been tested in populations without their knowledge, through experimental treatments, special military programs, environmental exposure via aerosols or food. There's no proof, just whispers. But the pattern repeats. 
Sudden onset of symptoms, blackouts, compliance changes, brain fog, and unexplained deaths. And when it happens, no cause is found. Final thought, the nanobot kill switch theory isn't just a sci-fi plotline. It's a warning. Because once something is inside you, and can be triggered from outside, you're no longer in control. And if that power ever falls into the wrong hands? It's not a question of what if, it's a question of when. Call to action. Subscribe to Twilight Truths for more stories like this. Real tech. Hidden agendas. Microscopic control. You'll never see progress the same way again.